Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I wanted to share with you my Halloween 2021 party setup ideas. It is for my daughter's little Halloween party that we just had. I did also film a Halloween treats video that goes along with this. So if you guys wanna see how I decorate and where I got everything, then please keep watching. All right, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and take down my clock, get everything nice and cleaned. This is my buffet table in my dining room. I got these paper fans from Amazon. They are gonna go on the wall. They are orange and black with a variety of patterns. They're super cute and super inexpensive. I will link everything that I bought that I can down below for you guys. Now I'm gonna start blowing up these balloons. I got them from Michaels, they're super cute. I did not use helium, as you can see, I just blew them up myself and then kind of taped them and secured them to the wall. But if you'd like to fill them up with helium, then you could go ahead and do that. Like I said, I got these from Michaels and it was a super good deal. I believe it was like three bucks for these, so love that. Now here's a little tip if you're dealing with these like confetti balloons, you need to create some static. So either rub your hands all over the balloon or rub it against your clothes and then the confetti will stick to the inside of the balloon. It works every time, can't go wrong with this. I love this little set. It came with stickers that you can make little jack-o'-lantern faces, really adorable. Next, I'm just gonna blow up these Boo Balloons. I got them from Michaels as well. Super simple to do. You're just gonna stick your straw into the hole there and blow it up and that is it. You will just wanna make sure that it's sealed. There is a piece of tape inside and that is it, guys. Now this I strung up on a piece of string and hung it up on the wall, as you will see. Now we're just gonna start assembling everything. I apologize for the lighting. It was rainy and windy that day. And even with my lights, it did not help. So I apologize if it's a little bit dark in places. I did the best I could. All right, now I'm just gonna hang up my little boo banner. Like I said, I strung it on a piece of string and taped it up there. It stayed pretty good, didn't have any issues. Now I'm just gonna start placing my balloons around. I did use double-sided tape and it did stick pretty well. Some of them I had to use uh, pins for, but other than that, it stayed pretty good. Here I got this little spider from Dollar Tree. I just strung it on a piece of string and hung it from the little nails I had there from where I hung my clock. So it made it look like he was climbing down. Got this little paper banner from Amazon last year. I will try to link it down below. Got a bunch of these spider cutouts from Walmart. I'm just gonna use my double-sided tape and stick it onto the paper fans. Right, moving on, I got this little fringe banner. It is individual tissue banner. I thought it was going to be already pre-made, so I would suggest getting something else. This was pretty cheap, but it was very, very time consuming and very fragile. Um, this is definitely only for one season, but I will share with you guys how I did it. I just put the tassel on, tied a knot through the middle, and there we go. and it hung like that. Now I used some command hooks to hook it to the side of my buffet table, as well as these little pumpkin lantern lights I got from Walmart a couple years ago. I think they still sell them. I will see if I can link them for you guys. I got this from eBay many, many years ago. It is just a little table runner. It is orange and glittery. It does make quite a mess, to be honest, but you can use any kind of table runner that you have. Then I'm gonna be using these little spider placemats from Michaels just to get my placement to kind of see where I'm gonna put all my treats. And if you guys haven't seen my Halloween treats video, I will link it above and below. You guys can see how I made the treats for this party. Now I'm just gonna start decorating. I got these trees from 99 cent store last year as well as this sign from Dollar Tree, which I ended up removing, but I did share with you guys where I got all of this stuff in a Halloween 2021 haul, so I will link that down below if you guys wanna see everything I got and where I purchased it from. Just gonna be putting this creepy cloth over my lamps just to make it look nice and creepy. 
Then I got these chargers from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be putting them underneath the felt placemats just to make it really pop. These two little buckets are from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be putting napkins and utensils in there as well as these plates. Some are from Dollar Tree, some are from Walmart. Like I said, I will link that video if you guys wanna see where I got everything. It will be down below. These forks, spoons, and knives were so cute from Michaels. I really, really love these. And I still had some left over. In hindsight, I should have bought two bags because they were so cute. I don't know if they'll have them again next year, but nonetheless, adorable. Those cups are from Dollar Tree. This pumpkin I got from Walmart many, many years ago. They still have similar things. Now I'm gonna be putting the chargers on some risers just to make it look a little bit more elevated. Now these paper straws came from Michaels. They've got these cute little bats that you can put on. Really easy to do, super cute. Now I'm just gonna add the finishing touches. I'm gonna be adding some of these bats I got from Dollar Tree and 99 cent store to my lamps just to make it look creepy. As well as these pumpkin skeletons that came from the 99 cent store. All right, now here's the fun part. I am gonna start setting up my treats, getting all my placement and get everything out and ready to go. Like I said, you guys should check out my Halloween treats video so you can see what I made, how I did it and so on and so forth. Now these treats were such a big success for my daughter and her little friend. She only had a few over, so it was perfect. They kind of ate their treats and played outside. It's still beautiful weather here in Las Vegas, so it's not too cold yet. I got these picks from Amazon this year, super cute, for the charcuterie board to stick your meat and cheese on. Now I decided to fill up the rest of those little mini cauldrons there from Party City with candy. We've got some pumpkins, some frogs, some gummy worms, some Reese's Pieces, some candy corn. Just a nice cute little decorative touch. Now I'm gonna go around and take off all the plastic from all the plates and all the napkins so they're ready to go. She had her party the same night. This was in the afternoon, so a couple hours later we had the party, and like I said, super big success. Kids loved it, parents loved it, super adorable. Now I'm just gonna add the finishing touches, add a bunch of little creepy spiders everywhere. And this is what it looks like, guys. Super happy with how it came out. All right, I hope you enjoyed my party setup ideas. I will link everything that I can down below with the exception of Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. I can't link that stuff or the things I got from previous years, but I will do my best. I will link my Halloween 2021 treats video down below and above. I will also link my treats videos from last year and all my stuff from Halloween 2020 if you guys are interested. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, and happy Halloween.